Paul Z. Jackson and today we're going to be applying improvisation. That is seeing how some of the techniques from comedy improvisation can be used by trainers and facilitators. It's a very experiential session. People will be joining in with activities and with discussions, question and answer and a small amount of lecturing. We're going to work in pairs to, to do an activity that will give you experience of improvising with somebody else. So let's stand up. So we're in a C. The room is a C. And it's a shark infested C. <laughs> Safety is when you cluster with a group of people of exactly the number that I call out. Three. <laughs> We've already found out on the course the need for adaptability, flexibility, being more creative, being more responsible for your actions, working well with yourself and with other people. And these are the core skills of improvising. Could each pair come in one of these pages? One of the central concepts of improvisation is yes and. It's yes which means accepting an offer, saying yes to what your partner presents to you. And and means that as well as accepting it, you build on it. We did a yes and activity of drawing, taking turns to draw a face. One of you thinks it's complete, you start naming the character one letter each at a time, passing the pen back and forth. And we did a yes and activity verbally in conversation where people built on each other's ideas, taking turns to reminisce about a holiday that they had together in New York, even though they'd not actually had any such holiday. Step by step, turn by turn, you're building and constructing a scene that's emergent, you don't know what it's going to be until you do it in real time, based exactly on what it is you're hearing and noticing your partner do and the ideas that come up for yourself. So yes and is the generative engine of improvisation. <laughs> That's all done in the moment, on demand, in uncertain and often challenging circumstances. So it's not only a metaphor for the life of a trainer or a facilitator, it is the very skills that a trainer or a facilitator needs.